In this video, we're going to learn how to use a glyph icon in Bootstrap. So let's go ahead and we'll add it to our existing nav bar that we've been working on in the last several videos. So let's go ahead and fire up what we've got so far. And what we want to do is put two new buttons over here, a login button and a contact button. And what we want to do is add Bootstrap glyph icons to those as well. But first, let's go ahead and create the buttons. So we can just borrow what we coded here. So we'll just copy this and we'll go right below our existing UL element and we'll copy and paste right here. Good. And we can use these same classes. That's all good. We don't need an active button, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. And we obviously only need two buttons, so we'll get rid of this last one. And so for this button, again, we're gonna call that contact us. And then again, for this bottom one, we're gonna call this login. Good. Now we also want to float this to the right. So we're going to go ahead and use that navbar right class that we used in the last video. Okay, great. So let's go ahead and save this and let's go ahead and run this in Chrome and let's see what we get. There, everything looks good. Now you might be wondering, why isn't our search bar all the way to the right? Shouldn't this be to the far right? Well, it works a little bit differently in Bootstrap and I'll show you what happens here. So if you have two elements that are using navbar right, the first element that uses that class, in other words, our two buttons that we just created, will be placed to the far right. So it works in a top-down order. So that's why our search bar actually isn't on the far right because it's on the bottom. So it will actually occupy the second position from the right. So once again, if you have multiple elements that are using this navbar right class, the first element that uses it will go to the far right, and then so on and so on. Okay, so now what we want to do is go ahead and add our glyph icon. Now, before we do that, I want to point out that Bootstrap has a page that lists all of these icons. And I will provide a link to this in the description of this video. So you can pretty much choose whatever icon you want to use here. So for our contact us, we're going to use this envelope icon right here. And this is pretty much a standard icon that is used out on the internet for contact us links. And then we're going to use a login icon for our login button. So let's go back to the code. Now, how to add this? Well, if you remember in my HTML series, we talked about the span element. And what is the span element? Well, one of the functions it is used for is to update text. And I think in that series, we actually highlighted the text. Well, in this case, we just want to add an icon to this text. And so that's what we're going to do. And we use the span element to do that. So let's go ahead and create our span element. And then we're going to call our bootstrap class that goes along with this. And the bootstrap class that we're going to call is glyph icon, very appropriately named. So it's sort of similar to the button class, right? We call a generic button class first, and then we actually specify which button we want. Same thing here. We call the glyph icon class first, and then we specify the glyph icon that we actually want to use. And again, we want to use the glyph icon envelope class, which we can select right here. Great. And then we just need to go ahead and close out our span. Now, one thing I want to point out here is remember, we're adding this icon to our text. So you want to leave a space here because this will leave a space between the icon and the text. So whenever you're doing this, just remember to always leave a space. So that looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and copy this span because we're going to use it right below again with our login. And let's just go ahead and we'll copy and paste it right here. And let's create that space again. And then this class actually has a couple more hyphens to it. And so we're going to put log, and then you need a hyphen right here. I don't know why they did it this way, but they did. And then you just put in for login. And you know what? This needs an H. Boy, I'm always making mistakes in these last couple of videos, probably just typing too fast. So there we go. I think this looks good now. So let's go ahead and save this, and let's go ahead and launch this in Chrome, and let's see what we get. And take a look at that. We get these awesome looking icons. And this adds a nice touch to your website. It makes it look very, very professional. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you.